Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? How's it going, guys? Okay. Getting ready for the day here. So we, um, if you saw my stories yesterday, I got a couple projects going. Um, I've been wanting to redo the, uh, do my three finger method to apply my sunscreen make sure I get enough on today gonna be out in the sun um, lots of projects so I'm working on the shelf to go up here I stained it and needed another piece I forgot I didn't buy enough I, I don't know got the wrong measurements like I got confused in my head when I went to go get it and we bought the wrong size so we got the right size the second piece yesterday because like an l-shaped shelf I'm gonna put up um, so we got that, got that stained, it is ready to go. Um, hopefully we have time to get that installed today because I've been waiting a while for it and I'm pretty excited to like, just be able to spruce up my little corner over here for myself. Um, that we have, if you guys know, we bought our house two years ago, it'll be two years in October. Um, total fixer upper and it's, it's been fun. We've been working on stuff. Um, but I've been staring at the fan that came with the house. Uh, that's just, not really my style um, and was looking at ideas and I'm on this like home group like home DIYers and kind of was asking for suggestions and stuff like that so got some really good suggestions and put some concealer on here while I kind of wait for my sunscreen to melt into my face and uh so I pulled the we pulled the fan down. Got my husband helped me pull the fan down yesterday, and it was like a copper kind of cut, not copper, like bronze. It was like a hideous bronze color. Hello, Kim. Good morning. Um, it was this awful bronze color. So I'm like, I'm gonna spray it black because we're gonna have lots of black like stuff door poles, things like, like their doorknobs are all going to be black. So I was like, okay, that'll work. The fan outside, right outside the door is black, um, which is pretty close to that one. So this is like, you think it'll just pop and look good if it's black. And we have, we had two black spray paints. We had a flat and then a semi-gloss. So I got the flat one and disassembled the whole fan into all little pieces, taped up all the stuff and went to town spray painting yesterday. It turned out so good so happy with how it looks and then with the blades because they're like they're probably like this color this is my shelf they're probably like this color on the light side and then the dark side is like a deep mahogany looking like that fake you know but it's kind of torn up but I wanted something lighter that's going to kind of blend in with the ceiling and the surroundings and not like stand out I don't want it to be like a statement piece really I just want it to be there and function right um so I have this really pretty tablecloth it's kind of white and like blues and it has eucalyptus like leaves on it and flowers and stuff like that so I found some contact paper that is pretty similar to that that I got and I just wrapped the um fan blades in this contact paper it turned out so good. I posted a couple pictures. Well, I posted one picture in my stories last night. So if you saw that, awesome. I think it's still there. Um, but I've been kind of posting pictures as we go. I'm so excited to like get it put together today. I don't know if we'll have time to get it back up today, but um, for sure we're going to get it put it back together so I can at least see it all intact. But it looks so good, like with the matte um, black and then the like eucalyptus and like light colors and I think it'll just go so well with um with the decor even if we keep it because I'm like we're redoing our whole kitchen and everything at some point so I'm like I'm sure we're not gonna keep this fan forever but now I'm like I actually like it a lot more than before so maybe we'll keep it I don't know we'll see we gotta see when we get it up um I'm still not sure about the shades yet they're like glass just very basic um so I'm gonna put them on with it and see how that goes and then if I don't like how it looks I might start hunting for some better globes but I really like those old like wispy I know I'm so excited it's turning out so cute 
um, the paper I posted, that's them actually wrapped on the blades too. Um, so I kind of want those, I don't know what they're called. I, I want to say they're like Victorian lampshades, but they're kind of like very floofy looking, very flowery looking on the edges, like very just extra. Um, I like those, so I might go thrift storing and see if I can find some of those because the stores don't really sell them and I think the stores that do sell them like really hike up the prices and I'm sure we can find them at like a Goodwill or somewhere for pretty cheap. So I'll put a little bit more of this on. So that's what we're working on today. We did that and then um, we have like weeds galore. Oh, half of our backyard is like turf that it was turf when we bought it like a crappy turf so we kind of upgraded the turf because it's just dirt we're not sure what we're doing with that half of the yard yet so we're like we'll just re put turf down to keep the weeds and the dirt at bay and then we left the other half of it that didn't have any turf just dirt as we kind of thought about things and decide what we wanted to do but our weeds just keep growing back and it's really annoying to like want to spend your weekend doing other things and then like having to go pull weeds all the time and just watching them grow like constantly so we we did everything really really good we put down some really strong weed killer that should keep the weeds from germinating there because i don't think we're ever going to plant anything there uh it'll probably be like more of an entertaining area right now it's a baseball pitching hitting net tent thingy back there for the boys um so there's that. So we weeded all that, got that down, got the weed paper down, and then we got um, my husband on his adventures throughout the week working, goes to lots of different Home Depots, and he saw our turf that we had already bought. Uh, there was one on clearance there, because if they cut it and then they don't sell it, they put it on clearance, because it's always like, that's the thing is you can get it cut to size, so if you can't get it cut to size, they put it on clearance. So we got it, it's like 25% off, but it saves like 60, 70 bucks. Um, stuff's like ridiculously pricey so yeah we got uh we got a roll it's not enough it was about half of what we needed but we got it at a discount so we brought that home and we're gonna finish installing that we had a friend come over last night for dinner so we um didn't finish last night but we're gonna finish installing the turf today and i think we're gonna go after i get ready go try to get another piece um so we can do the full thing I love thrifting. It's so fun. I know I like going to the thrift stores and not even buying things and just like looking at all the stuff that like people like people's lives. I don't know. It's so interesting. I don't, it's it's fun to go like sometimes like we'll go after dinner and we'll just cruise to like the Goodwill or the Salvation Army or whatever. Like we've done that before and it's so much fun. Like you get to know so much. Like I already know my husband, but like you get to learn like different things about people. Things are so ridiculously expensive. And you're going, I know somebody just threw this away because they don't like it. And I know this person's charging me like, I've seen some of those stupid shade things for the fans, like 40, 50, 60 bucks. And I'm like, I get it if they're like stained glass and it's like all like whatever. But like for something kind of basic that you know is coming out of a mold, it's like really? I know there's probably 50 of them at Goodwill or you know, at some thrift store or at some lady's yard sale down the street. And think that it's we only need three. So like I think people a lot of fans have four or more. So I think like that's better odds for me to be able to find three that I like. Because I'm like, oh yeah, if one breaks, you know, they're gonna chuck them. So they might be three if they have like four. I don't know. That makes sense. Anyways, so I throw my sunscreen. I am liking the sunscreen a lot. Um I don't know if I like it better than my clearance, but I definitely, I know the ingredients of this sunscreen are um, a lot stronger. It has a lot more zinc in it, so I know that. Uh, the clearance says it's 50 SPF, or this one's 30 SPF, but I think the amount of zinc that's in this one makes it a little bit more, more better. It's my favorite, more better. And then I gotta go back tonight. I had to get a TV test for work, so I have to go get that read. I'm like, I didn't even know TV was still a thing. Like, people still get tuberculosis out there. And then I was like, is it really still a thing? And I looked, and like it said in the States, there's about like 8,000 cases a year. The sunscreen, what brand? 
The new one is, it's First Aid Beauty. And it's an SPF 30, it has zinc oxide in it, it has 22% zinc oxide. So it's a mineral sunscreen. This is tinted, but it's First Aid Beauty. Kim, if you, if you, I can send you a link. I got it from Sephora. I'm not sure where else it's sold. Um, but I can send you the link for it if you want to find it. Yeah, it's, I, now that I've, like, seen it, I start seeing it everywhere, of course, because I'm like, oh, that's that. But before I had it known. That seems to be pretty good. And since it's a mineral, you can wear it with the BB cream and not worry about losing any of that, um, like, potency of the sunscreen if it were, like, a chemical sunscreen with the BB cream. Because the BB cream's a mineral sunscreen also. If you didn't know. <laughs> I feel like you know that. Okay. Just getting ready for the day. It's on my legs. Get ready to do my chores. Now I have to go run around and do some errands first, so I'm like, I'll just get ready. My nose is all stuffy, I think, from pulling weeds yesterday. And I'm sure I'm going to be super sore tomorrow. But they really weren't as bad because we. I feel like we just did it not too long ago. So, um, oh, yeah, I haven't updated you guys. So I think I did my last live on, like, Thursday or something. Um, mm, Thursday? Wednesday? Thursday. So, it was, or Wednesday. Maybe it was Wednesday and I was going to do Thursday. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, my nose, I woke up like with stuffy nose and I'm like, sure, it's just from inhaling stuff all day yesterday and the dirt and weeds and whatnot. Um, so my kid goes to water polo on Thursday night. When I go to pick him up, he like pulled his shoulder. And then so we're like, okay, cool, just rest, you know, ice, heat, whatever. He wakes me up at four in the morning, Friday morning, like screaming in so much pain. Like it scared me. I like literally jumped out of bed, like hit my head and like, something's wrong. And like jumped up and took off running um, for my kid. Cause it's like, he was like literally crying, screaming, crying at 4 a.m. It was like terrifying. Um, so we went to the urgent care. We waited till morning. We got a little bit of sleep. Um, went to urgent care in the morning. They ran x-rays. And at first the doctor thinks that it's just a sore muscle, which it seems to be. Um, but radiology is having us come in to see the orthopedic just to make sure he's going to really go over all the uh, x-rays and kind of assess the situation and see if I think they said maybe a mild separation. Um, so I don't know really what that means. I was trying to look it up and it just keeps saying it's just a separation. But so pretty much if it is worse, the worst it seems like is just he'll have to have like a sling or something for a couple weeks so he doesn't use it. And he's going to like sleep it on the couch because he can like, yeah, it's. And it's one of those things that's like, he's fine, and then he doesn't even know what he does, and then all of a sudden it hurts again. So, I feel like it's a, like the big muscle group that goes like over your scapula. Um, I forget what it's called. It starts with a T. I don't remember. But I think it was that. Based on like, his range of movement and stuff like that. It doesn't seem like it's his shoulder. At least I hope not. So, cause it's kind of in the back and it seems lower than like his clavicle. So we'll see what happens. He's taken a leave every like eight to 12 hours or whatever, whenever he's allowed to take it. So he's been doing pretty good. He's going longer than like the recommended dosage. So, which is good. So, I'm taking a bunch of painkillers. So. Even mild ones, which is not good for your body, right? So, so that's what happened Friday morning, early. And then I got to go have lunch with Laura, my birth mom. So that was nice. Um, if you don't know, I'm adopted. And recently, well, I'm bad with time. I'll say um, it was at the beginning of like the shutdown. 
be like right around that first, like so March or whatever. Uh, we like met for the first time. So we're like working our relationship, getting to know each other. It's kind of fun. So making a new friend like that. So it's nice. Um, so we went and had lunch, sushi on Friday. It was nice. This is good, really good all you can eat place. So it's like my favorite place. I took her there. And it was fabulous. It's so yummy. Okay, so you guys, this is pretty much why I came on. Um, I use the old BB cream as you could see. I use pocket palette. I use a different couple of different things. If you have any questions about the products I'm using, yeah, the, the smaller injuries can be more painful, and and it's hard to know because it's like you can't see it, and then like he literally is okay, and then he'll like laugh or something, and it pulls on muscle. So it's kind of what makes me think it's that bigger one because when he's like taking deep breaths or things like that, I think it's expanding that muscle and making it hurt a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I like wanted to come on because there is an amazing sale happening starting tomorrow. So I'm going to pop on at 8 because I know there are a couple things that I want to pick up for myself um, and a couple things I want to grab 50% off for uh, like some giveaways and some gifts and things like that just because it's a good it's a good deal. Um, so there's going to be some serums, there's going to be some masks, there's going to be this brush actually, this total package brush, which I love, but it's going away. Um, brush cleaner, foundations, so, what is that? Ooh, ooh, okay, it's not something else I'm going to order. So if there is something that you are like semi, all right, Kim, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Um, if there is something that you've been like curious about or wanting to try um, and it happens to be one of these this is a great time to grab one of those products 50% off it's a great deal um, but let me know I'm gonna hop on at 8 tomorrow morning and order some stuff because once it's gone it's gone like there's no restocking it's a like first come first serve 50% off situation so if serums or masks or you need a brush cleaner or you want a foundation, um, sticker spray foundation, you've been thinking about trying it, this is the time to try it because it is 50% off, okay? Um, and if that's something you're interested in, especially if it's a foundation, let me know today and we can color match you. Um, I can send you the link for it so you have it if you're like, oh yeah, I can get on A and like get something 50% off. Um, I can send you the link so you have it and you can just hop on or if you want me to order for you um, and I can just bulk order it with my stuff let me know and we could do that too totally fine with that but that's pretty much I wanted to come on I'm like meant to get in yesterday and tell you guys but just I made a post so hopefully you saw it but yeah if you want to grab one of those things huge discount huge discount. Hey Nancy, how's it going? Um, happy Sunday. What are we doing? Mascara. Alright. Maybe some eyeliner. Oh, there's my tweezers. I was looking for those earlier. Um, but yeah, it's a great way to get a couple products. Huge, like huge discount, you guys. I'm telling you, it's fifty percent off. So honestly, if it's something that you want or you've been interested in, like a spray foundation, a stick foundation, um, brush cleaner, serums, masks, let me know, and I can get that information to you so that you're able to like one hop on and be ready to just buy it. Because I'm telling you, like last time they did a sale like this, things were. I was so lucky to have gotten the things that I wanted because they were like, people were like on like an hour later and they were gone. They weren't getting them. So, um, last time they had the sale, I picked up a couple of those exfoliating masks, but also a couple other things. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grab some stuff. So if it's something you're interested in, let me know just so we can get it figured out today. Um, especially if it's a foundation we need to color match. I'd hate for you to like miss out on that deal. And there's still some really good stuff at 30% off, which you could order anytime right now, which is there's a few brushes. There's a really good brush pack. So if you need eye brushes, um, there's that. There's lots of perfumes. I've never tried their perfumes. I'm not a huge perfume person, 
I just got this one and I absolutely love it. It's called the Rio Radiance from Sol de Janeiro. Um, so in love with this one. And I smelled some of their other stuff. It's too musty for me. I don't like it. But this one, I like. And I did get that deodorant too from them. And it's been working out really well. Like a lot better than the last one I had actually. So, um, yeah. There's currently, there's a brightening mask and eyeliner, a lip exfoliator, and like this hot pink, hot pink lip stain. Um, those are all 30% off, but the 50% off is happening tomorrow at 8 a.m. 8 Pacific Standard Time. If you're watching from somewhere else. But yeah, let me know. I would love to get you a link so that you can just hop on and buy right away. And like, literally, if you're still sleeping or whatever, you could lay in bed and just do it real quick from your phone. I'm so excited. There are so many new things happening with their company right now. It's so such a one. It's such a good time to be part of this because there's new products coming out that are going to be like revolutionary in the beauty world. There are amazing opportunities for people that earn money as an ambassador. They're going to start a new affiliate program, so if you know what that is, um, make sure you stay tuned to get the information on that. My husband's making breakfast, it smells so good. Um, I don't know all the details, I kind of watched some of the stuff about it, but pretty much like they're doing a new affiliate program, so if you know about affiliates, it's kind of like you um, just like support, like you try products, if you like them, you support the company and like you earn rewards back also, but I think they're changing it to where you can actually as an affiliate earn up to like, you can actually earn cash back, not just rewards I believe, so um, lots of new changes happening. Uh, I will actually my eye. Um, a great, great time to join. I know the 28th is kind of like the day that like we're all waiting for. There's lots of announcements happening on the 28th. Lots of things going on. Um, lots of changes. So super excited for that, for those changes that are happening. Um, but yeah, just throwing on some mascara and then I am going to be done. But again, there are going to be some 50% off sales happening on Monday. It's going to be a couple different foundations. It is going to be a couple different masks, serums, um, half off. Like, it's a good deal. So if you are interested in something like that, getting it half off, let me know. And I can send you a link so you can jump on right when that sale starts and make your order. Or if you want me to bulk order it with stuff, let me know. And I can do that for you too. Not a problem. I do have those two bundles still going, so I have that Flawless bundle and the Summer Skin bundle, and I think a couple of the items I have in here might be going on the sale, so if you happen to grab one of them with that, um, you might get an additional discount if you get it on Monday. Um, so Summer Skin is the cleansing, the cleanser. You're going to get tanning drops, brightening serum, you're going to get a body scrub, lash serum, lip butter, and then your choice of anti-aging eye mask, the eye cream, or the vitamin C, okay? And you're going to get a free body butter, which is this guy right here. It smells so good. It smells really good. Um, it's that guy, or... Uh, or you can do, and you're going to get free shipping on that, and you're going to get rewards back within three hours of your purchase, Okay. The flawless bundle is any foundation. So again, some of the foundations are going on sale. So any foundation, you're gonna get an anti-aging eye mask, bronzer, blush, highlight, one of them, you get a pick. You're gonna get liquid shadows, two liquid shadows, or you can get the cappuccino palette I have, the browns, um, and a lip splash. Okay, again, you're gonna get the free body butter, and you're gonna get free shipping on it. Again, instant, not instant, within three hour rewards back to you. So. So this is the time if you've been thinking about a bundle, you can always grab that bundle today. Um, I don't think you can use 
going to say, I don't think you can use your rewards on the 50% off items because they're already such a huge discount that you can't use your rewards on them. I think that is like the one limitation right now. But you can use rewards now on uh, collagen. So if you have any rewards, you are you can use those on collagen. And of course, you can't use it on a subscription because, well, I mean, you could the first time, but the subscription every time it renews is automatic. So it's not going to be applying the rewards to it every time because it would be different. But um, if you don't do subscription, you can use your rewards. Just know that doing the subscription, you save 10%. So, and you get free shipping. So that alone, I think, might be more than what the rewards would be to put, apply to it. Excuse me, I'm like drink my coffee too fast and I'm talking too fast. Okay, put on some deodorant and I think I'm ready for the day. I'm gonna go hit the, the depot and that's it. That's it for this morning. Okay, that. All right, guys. Um, yeah, let me know though if you want to get anything. Um, if you want more details about what it is, just message me and I'll let you know. Um, which just hasn't been like released yet what the items are. So I don't want to like say everything. Um, but yeah, if you want to know, just please message me. I, have, I can let you know individually what it is and what the pricing on it should be. And um, yeah, we can get you that set up so you can get those deals tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. It's the 24th through the 31st, but it's until they like, sell out. So if everything sells out tomorrow, then done. Um, if things aren't as popular, they'll be on there until the 31st. After the 31st, they go from 50% back to 30% off. So this is the like crunch window to buy something. If you've been eyeballing it, pull the trigger. It's a great time to try something new. Okay. Especially those serums are like 80 bucks. So getting those half off is like huge. That's on my list. So all right, guys, have a positively beautiful day. I like going, got stuff to do, but I'll catch you later. Bye.